Are you tired of sugar cravings just sabotaging your weight loss? If you are, you are not alone. It's not just about willpower. There are deep biological, hormonal and emotional reasons behind these cravings that we need to uncover. Hi, I'm Sonia Hollis, a qualified nutritional therapist. And today we're going to be diving deep into why sugar cravings happen and more importantly, how to stop them for good. We'll explore the hidden causes behind these cravings, whether it's blood sugar imbalances, dopamine driven habits or nutrient deficiencies. I'll share science backed strategies to help you break free from the sugar addiction without feeling deprived. And most importantly, I'll show you how to reset your metabolism so you naturally crave less sugar over time. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more science back videos. But now let's just get started. Many people believe the best way to beat sugar cravings is to simply cut it out completely. No sweets, no processed carbs, no exceptions. But here's the problem. Our brains and bodies don't respond well to sudden deprivation. Instead of reducing cravings, going cold turkey often makes them stronger and sets you up for a rebound. Sugar isn't just a food, it's a chemical trigger in your brain. So when you eat sugar, it rapidly spikes dopamine, the feel-good neurotransmitter involved in reward and pleasure. Over time, this trains your brain to seek out sugar whenever it wants a quick hit of happiness. So what happens when you quit cold turkey? Your dopamine levels plummet, leading to irritability and mood swings, leading to fatigue and low motivation, increased cravings as your brain demands its usual reward. So what can you do about it? Rather than cutting out sugar abruptly, right, that's it, Transition it gradually by replacing processed sugars with nutrient dense foods that support dopamine levels like protein, healthy fats and magnesium rich foods. So think of things like dark chocolate, nuts and seeds. When you suddenly stop consuming sugar, blood sugar dips can send you on an emotional and energy roller coaster. If your body has become accustomed to quick sugar fixes, removing them suddenly can leave you feeling drained and irritable. You experience energy dips, brain fog, and even hunger pangs that heighten these cravings. So what can you do about it? To avoid sugar crashes, focus on stabilizing your blood sugar levels by incorporating fiber, protein and healthy fats into each meal so into all of your meals in the day you've got your breakfast you've got your lunches your dinners and your snacks this keeps energy levels stable and reduces the frequency of cravings if you've been relying on sugar for energy your body has become stuck in a sugar burning mode making it harder to switch your body to burning fat for fuel so what happens when you cut sugar suddenly? Your metabolism may struggle to adjust and that could lead to low energy and brain fog, which we've said before, intense cravings as your body looks for quick energy sources. And many people just give in to this and just think, oh, I just want to feel normal again. So what can we do about it? Slowly reduce your sugar intake while increasing your intake of protein and healthy fats. You can pair carbs with fiber to slow digestion and prevent the glucose spikes. And this gradual shift will help improve metabolic flexibility and reduce cravings over time. Instead of quitting sugar cold turkey, try a step down approach. So phase one, swap processed sugars for natural sources. So fruit, dark chocolate or honey in moderation. Phase two, increase your protein and healthy fats to balance the blood sugar and support dopamine levels. Phase three, gradually reduce sugar over two to four weeks to avoid the crashes and withdrawal. And then phase four, add metabolism boosting strategies like strength training, intermittent fasting and apple cider vinegar. So what causes these sugar cravings? What actually is going on in your body? 
When you eat sugary or refined carbohydrate food, your blood sugar spikes quickly. In response, the body releases a large amount of insulin to help bring your blood sugar back down. However, this can sometimes cause your blood sugar levels to drop too low, leaving you feeling tired, irritable and craving more sugar to boost your energy up again. So this cycle of highs and lows can lead to frequent cravings and energy crashes. So then what happens? You feel shaky, irritable and low in energy, you know, typical hangry. Your brain sends signals for quick energy. It needs to get more energy and usually in the form of sugar. And this cycle just repeats, repeats and repeats, leaving you stuck in a pattern of cravings. So how can we break this cycle? Focus on stabilizing your blood sugar levels. I keep saying this because it's so, so important. Now you can do this by including fiber, protein and healthy fat in every meal. So instead of refined sugars, opt for the slow digesting carbs like sweet potatoes, quinoa and legumes, which provide you with a steady energy without the crash. For breakfast, you can swap some sugary cereals for Greek yogurt with berries and nuts, for example, or scrambled eggs with avocado and whole grain toast. Lunch could be a chicken and quinoa salad with olive oil dressing, while snacks could be hummus with vegetable sticks or a handful of almonds with a boiled egg, for example. All of these will help to maintain your blood sugar levels and keep them stable between meals. You can also include blood sugar supporting spices such as cinnamon in your morning oats or a splash of apple cider vinegar in salad dressing to help improve insulin sensitivity and curb those cravings. So this approach should help keep your energy stable, reduce cravings and make healthy eating feel more sustainable. Sometimes sugar cravings aren't just about energy. They're a signal that your body is missing key nutrients necessary for regulating blood sugar levels and overall energy production. For example, magnesium. This helps to regulate insulin sensitivity and glucose levels. So a deficiency may trigger sugar cravings. We have zinc. This supports insulin function as well and low levels can increase appetite and cravings. And we have B vitamins. These are essential for energy production. A deficiency can cause fatigue and also make you more prone to cravings. So instead of reaching out for sweets, nourish your body with nutrient dense foods like leafy greens, nuts and seeds and legumes and whole grains to help balance your blood sugar and reduce the cravings. Now in the description below, I've put in a couple of handouts for you for magnesium rich foods along with zinc and vitamin B. Now cravings aren't always physical, sometimes they're driven by emotional needs. Stress, boredom or sadness can trigger cravings for sugar as the brain associates it with a temporary boost in happiness. So why does sugar feel so comforting? Stress and cortisol, these are highly linked. High stress raises cortisol levels, which in turn raises the cravings for quick energy sources like sugar. The dopamine high. Sugar stimulates dopamine, making you feel rewarded and temporarily happy. And then emotional triggers. Stress, boredom or sadness can drive you just to seek comfort in sugary foods. So how do we break this cycle? Practice mindful eating. Just take a moment to ask yourself, okay, am I really hungry or am I stressed? Managing stress. Use techniques like deep breathing, journaling or physical activity instead of emotional snacking. Or just choose healthier treats. Satisfy your cravings with dark chocolate, Greek yogurt or protein rich snacks which provide nutrients without causing the sugar spike. 
An imbalance in gut bacteria can drive sugar cravings as certain microbes thrive on sugar and send signals to your brain to keep consuming it. So what can we do about it? Support a healthy gut microbiome by eating fermented foods such as kimchi, sauerkraut and kefir and prebiotic fibres such as onions, garlic and asparagus. These foods nourish beneficial bacteria and reduce the influence of sugar craving microbes. So meal options could be, for example, your breakfast. You can have scrambled eggs with sautéed spinach, onions and garlic served with a side of kefir. Or for a snack, you could have a small bowl of Greek yogurt with some flax seeds, berries and a drizzle of honey for your prebiotic fibre. Lunch, you could have quinoa and roasted vegetable salad with asparagus, chickpeas and a, a miso dressing. Or dinner, you could have grilled salmon with a side of sautéed Brussels sprouts and a spoonful of sauerkraut. There's a few options there for you. So 10 foods to help stop sugar cravings. We've got some healthy fats. Have avocado, olive oil or nuts. So this stimulates CCK and PYY, which signal fullness to the brain and also helps to reduce cravings. Add more protein, so eggs, lean meat and Greek yogurt. This suppresses ghrelin, our hunger hormone, and boosts GLP-1 for satiety. Salt, to support our electrolyte balance and cortisol regulation. Sometimes sugar cravings are actually sodium cravings. A simple way to address this is just by adding a pinch of sea salt to your meals or snacks, especially if you're feeling fatigue, to help support electrolyte balance and reduce cravings. Dark chocolate. Enjoy a small piece of dark chocolate that can help satisfy your sweet tooth while providing a boost of magnesium, which helps to support the insulin sensitivity. Fermented foods, so the kimchi, sauerkraut and kefir, we mentioned this before. Support your healthy gut microbiome if this plays a key role in regulating your cravings through the gut brain axis. You can easily add some kimchi as a side to your meals, like a grilled chicken to enhance digestion and support gut health. Put sauerkraut as a topping to salads or in a sandwich, or use kefir as a base for smoothies, mix it with berries, or drink it on its own as a probiotic rich beverage. Apple cider vinegar. This helps control blood sugar spikes and glucose levels after eating. You could mix one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in a glass of water and drink it 15 to 20 minutes before meals to help regulate the blood sugar spikes after eating. Or you could use it as a base for homemade vinaigrettes or salad dressings. Just mix it with some olive oil, mustard and herbs. So add some more cinnamon. Cinnamon helps to improve the body's ability to absorb glucose, acting similarly to insulin. So this can support more stable blood sugar levels and also reduce your sugar spikes. Nuts and seeds, so have more almonds, chia seeds and flax seeds. These provide fiber, protein and also slow digesting healthy fats. We've got Greek yogurt. We've mentioned this before in some of your sample breakfasts. This is high in casein protein, keeps you fuller for longer. And then lastly, we've got bone broth rich in glycine and electrolytes and promotes stable blood sugar and reduces stress cravings. So imagine waking up no longer feeling controlled by sugar cravings, no more battling with yourself every afternoon and no more guilt after indulging. It's possible when you address the root causes, blood sugar, nutrient deficiencies, emotional triggers, and then make the right swaps. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please just make sure to like and subscribe. And that's it for now. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.